Kanye West doesn't care about black people. Yes, I know those are the famous words he used toward Bush, but at the end of the day, obviously he was projecting because every opportunity he gets, he decides to shit on black people more than George Bush could ever dream of. And I, I can't lie, a lot has been made about the whole white lives matter thing and I don't, I don't really care um, because we all know this was just an opportunity to shit on black people because let's be honest, Black Lives Matter isn't even a thing anymore. When was the last time you saw a Black Lives Matter t-shirt? When is the last time you seen a new banner, new sign, anything? It's been about two years, right? So why would he feel the need to make that shirt and say, oh, now it's over? Nigga, it's been over. Like, what are you talking about? But the message of Black Lives Matter will never end. Unfortunately, we have to continuously remind people that Black Lives Matter in this country. I don't know what Kanye was thinking, but Maybe he can't see examples, so let me help you. Um, in America, we're so rich that we piss in clean water. And if dirty water was to show up in our toilet, we would be upset. That's how good you have it in America. Yet, there are multiple cities in America that doesn't have clean drinking water. And although black people make up only 13% of the population... 100% of the cities without clean drinking water are majority black. One of the states that these cities is in is one of the poorest states in the country. And a rich and famous white man stole money to build a gym for his daughter. And this nigga is not in jail. Yet there are black mothers in jail for lying about their address so their children can go to better schools. And that's 2022, which maybe nothing has happened in Kanye's life that would lead him to want to say Black Lives Matter. Until you listen to his music and he constantly praises his grandfather for participating in the sit-ins for black people to try to get equality. And his mother at the age of six was arrested with his grandfather, according to Kanye West, for the sit-ins. That's the lineage you come from. And then you spit in their face to shit on black people. Talk about how Harriet Tubman didn't free slaves, but just sent them into another level of bondage. Slavery was a choice. And now white lives matter to end the talk of black lives mattering. That Kanye West documentary on Netflix could have been really inspirational, but instead is one of the saddest documentaries I've ever seen. Because throughout it, it shows this woman who dedicated her life to education, was a professor shaping young black minds after being arrested at the age of six for sitting in, you know, fighting for equality for black people and supporting her son and his dream, even though, come on, we watched the documentary in the early years. This nigga couldn't rap. She was, she was memorizing some whack-ass rhymes. But she did that. This was the most supportive mother of any artist I've ever seen. You know, that I've ever seen. I've never seen support like that. It was, like, super supportive, man. Enough to make you cry. Only for her to raise this ungrateful-ass nigga who would then go and shit on his own lineage after the fact. Enough to make your head spin. But enough about the negativity of that nigga. Positivity time. Um, my best friend, Austin Hall, if you've seen me live, you might have seen him uh, open for me. He dropped a comedy album. And it's the number one comedy album in America. I don't mean number one by my opinion. I mean, it is the most bought comedy album this week. Most streamed comedy album in America. It's just quality work. Congratulations, Austin. And if you fuck with me, just give it a listen. I'll send y'all the link.